Mikey Wax. Hey, hey. What's up, man? How are you? We we are great. I'm doing great. Welcome yeah. to the Silicon Valley. Yeah, thanks for having us back. Uh, why don't we introduce everyone? You bet. Uh, on the boxy thing over there, uh, <laughs> drumish type thing is Shane Considine. Uh, although otherwise known as a hashtag sexy Shane. Sexy Shane, what's up, man? Hello. This thing, <laughs> this thing started with the tour because someone said that. And now about every every the show. show, and now it was that it's maybe us. A, a, a fan that was there at the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 We hope so. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Then we saw on online like she put hashtag sexy Shane and. It's kind now, of become a thing. Now it's now it's, yeah. it's, not, now it's, it's, it's not a bad way to be known, man. <laughs> I yeah. guess not. There could yeah. be worse nicknames. I mean, what if that got trending in Japan or something <laughs> like that? Like, how crazy would that be? I'd be okay with that. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta move to Japan. <laughs> and this is uh, Nate Lewick here on guitar, vocals. Uh, how you doing, Nate? Nickname, not not as cool, but Nate Bird is the nickname. Nate Bird, what's up, man? <laughs> uh, not too much. Yeah, how are things? Just building my nest over here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sweet. So, um... Oh, man. Is Jack Daniels, is that really your drink of choice or what? You know what? It, it kind of has become, I've become more of a whiskey guy over yeah. the years. So I think uh, uh, Jack Jack with a little bit of water in there on the rocks kind of thing. Absolutely. Works for me. Uh, that's my favorite. I, I like to drink scotch. I do it the same oh, way. I'm, I I'm like a scotch guy too. Yeah. little like yeah. five drops of it. Yeah, yeah and you're a little good bit of water go. and you're good to go. Um, so now, how did you get started with music? Uh, I was eight years old when I started playing piano. My dad was a piano player, songwriter, and I kind of, he taught me how to play piano when I was just a kid and I uh, started writing songs pretty much right away. You know, right. at first it was pretty much about how my hockey team would suck. We'd lose every game. So I would write songs about that. Right. And, uh, but then it, you know, became more of a, a passion and more of a way of just expressing everything that was kind of going on in my life. Now, so, did your dad teach you how to play piano? He or? taught me my first song, it was a classical piece. And, uh, and then from there I started taking lessons and stuff like that. Sweet. But, yeah, it wasn't like, you know, he was, you know, making me play or anything. Like that. It was more like he would be playing all the time. I'd kind of hang out under the piano and just watch his feet, like, do the pedal stuff. And then, Killer. Uh, and then he kind of, like, you know, taught me how to play. Right. Do so. you have any brothers or sisters? Yeah, I got an older brother and a younger brother, and the younger one is my manager. Oh, sweet. <laughs> yeah. Crazy. Or do they play any instruments or anything like that, or was uh, it just Yeah, you? the younger one, actually, uh, my manager kind of, he wrote, uh, co-wrote uh, the one of the songs, You Lift Me Up, uh, that's currently uh, their P Kardashian's promo song. Oh, right. We're going to play that. Yeah. yeah. He, he actually co-wrote some of that. So uh, Killer. Yeah. I'll talk more about that in a little bit. <laughs> sure. Okay. Yeah. Well, why don't we play a song? So what do you, sure, what's sure. the first one you want to do? Oh, uh, you got me excited with Jack Daniels here. So sure, let's like... do that. Yeah. <laughs> this is called Follow Jack. She's like a fire burning up the debris And whoa, I need to loosen up my collar to breathe And there's no window here to let in the breeze But she can give me all the air that I need And she flies through the night Yeah, she'll keep burning till the break of dawn Like a star Spinning round the room like a bottle of Jack She calls me just a friend but I know better than that And she pulls just like a magnet I keep coming back But when the morning breaks through the night She disappears out of sight When everybody's getting ready to leave to roll up our sleeves Yes, I'm a prisoner She is the queen But she can go ahead And throw out the key Cause she flies Through the night She's burning till the break of dawn Like a star In the sky All eyes are on her When she walks in the door Spinning round the room like a bottle of Jack She calls me just a friend but I know better than that And she pulls just like a magnet I keep coming back But when the morning breaks through the night She disappears 
Man, that's awesome! Thank you. <laughs> so, I was looking down at your uh, your tour van. It's got New York plates on it. Yeah. <laughs> have you made your way all the way across the the country in that thing? We have. We started this tour uh, March nineteenth, actually in D.C., and then we decided for some reason to go from there all the way up north to New York and Boston, Sweet. and then back down again. And right. So, you three in the in the van, or us what? three in the yeah. van, and uh, uh, the opener on the tour with us, Alexis Keegan. Oh. Four of us rolling in a van, oh, and uh, with the U-Haul. Yep, we're doing a uh, city after city <laughs> and have, having a blast. Any crazy stories from the road? <sighs> Anybody? Sometimes it's better if stories stay in the van. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> so I saw you guys were on tour with uh, Parachute yeah. at one point. Yeah. Those are some of our favorite guys that come in they here. They are Just... such cool guys. That, that was a blast, that tour. Did I you was... get to hang with them at all? Oh, yeah, yeah. We were on the road for two months together. So, yeah, yeah that was great. That That's was a great killer, time. Yeah, we, did, uh, we did the whole country together. It yeah. was amazing, yeah. Crazy. Uh, yeah. Is this So is this your first time to the Silicon Valley or the Bay Area? Yeah, pretty much this is my first time performing an actual show in this area. Right. Which uh, was great. We performed last night in Oakland. Right. So, uh, and you know, we had, we had a great time. Packed How, what, where, what was the venue? We, it was, uh, what was it? Leo's? Leo's, right? Leo's? Leo's, yeah. yeah. How was the crowd? In Oakland was great. Packed night for Monday. It was awesome. Sweet, man. Yeah. Killer. So, uh, you know, there's, you know, considering that I don't get here that much, it was amazing to see fans out like that. Right. Stuff like that. So hopefully we get to come back more. And you went to Smule today, yeah. this morning, is that right? Yep. Can we talk about what Smule is? Because I've noticed that a lot of your fans have kind of discovered you on that app, is that yeah, right? Yeah, Smule has been tremendously uh, helpful in, in getting the word out. Basically what they do is it's an interactive app where you uh, you hold the phone up like this like in front of you and you and you sing your own song. I sing my own songs into it and then fans join me and they duet with me and they sing on my own songs. Crazy. And s since I started doing that, like 70,000 people have joined on that and, and done a duet with me. I, I We were just with them today and they're telling us like my, one of my videos had the most, had like millions of duets like total done to right. it between all they have three different apps they have the sing one the guitar one and the piano one between all of it, it had millions of hits or whatever which was incredible that's, that's actually so killer yeah. man so uh it's been pretty it's been pretty amazing can you see the people when you're doing the duet with them yeah yeah you, so you're actually looking at a person while so, you're so what happens is i'll do it and then they'll sign up they'll do it and then the final thing is posted and oh, so you can watch the whole final thing with me and the other fan doing it and what so a... i i retweet them i instagram it and stuff like that so what a great idea man. yeah it's really really cool how cool have you made any friends off the app yeah the, the, a lot of them are coming up to shows and being like, I sang with you in that, yeah, yeah. you know, and you meet them and you're like, oh my God, I recognize your face. You're like, yeah, yeah. We, we sang together. That's awesome. Technology is crazy. Isn't incredible, it? incredible. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I think we should do another song here. Sure. Uh, what, what What is it that you're going to do next and kind of tell us a little bit sure. the, the background of it? This is, uh, this is the new single that uh, I'm currently pushing to uh, radio and this is called uh, Only One. And this is one of the songs that on Smule started building kind of a nice foundation it's, it's getting a ton of hits on youtube and everything like that because awesome. because of that and uh yeah we kind of had some radio stations across the country started to add the song and stuff like that so it's been really amazing and um we're happy to play it here for you today this song is about um kind of when you're when you're just friends with someone but you want to be more than friends a little you're bit more a little bit more and you're telling them to trust you it's okay i'm not going to hurt you we're not going to lose what we had just right. you know come a little closer and, and then you know it'll be okay sweet yeah it's called only one There's a feeling that I get when you look at me that way 
Cause yeah, you've had it tough Whoa And I don't wanna try to save you Just wanna see you smile Before a night So come on, come lay your guard down Show your love, my love I really need you to trust me now Come a little closer I don't back down Giving you the most of my life me now, come a little closer and hear me out, life's a roller coaster, but this is my vow, I'm making you my only one, my only one, and there's a look inside your eye when I say let's get away, you look just like you're ready to run, so pack your things and come with me and let's drive off into the sun, whoa, now I don't want to try to say Show your love, your love I really need you to trust me now Come a little closer, yeah, don't back down Giving you the most of my life I'm making you my only one, my only one I really need you to trust me now Come a little closer and hear me out Life's a roller coaster, but this is my life say to you that I haven't said before just open up your heart a little more I really need you to trust me now come a little closer yeah don't back down giving you the most of my love I'm making you my only one my only one I really need you to trust me now come a little closer hear me out life's a roller coaster this is my life. I'm making you my only one, my only one, my only one. You're my only one. Oh, <laughs> Sweet guys, awesome. Thank you. So, what's the what's the story with Aaron Rodgers? Oh man, <laughs> Aaron Aaron uh, found out about my music. Uh, I think when I first started four years ago, I had a song of mine featured on the homepage of YouTube, and uh, out of nowhere, like I get I see a tweet that says like like someone asked him who was on your playlist the year he won the Super Bowl, yeah, and he was like you know he wrote like Train like Goo Goo Dolls and Mikey Wax. I'm like he must have surely misspelled my <laughs> like someone else's name and wrote mine. A week later, my cousin actually happens to see him in an airport and was like, how do you know Mikey Wax? Like, how do you know his music? And he's like, my buddy in Australia found it on YouTube and sent it to me. I listened to it before every single game. Uh, yeah, so he's been a fan. He came out to my show in LA last summer and uh, I gave him the new record and he texted me a day later. He's like, dude, listening to like Only One and Bottle Jack, my two new favorite songs. So like, how crazy is that, yeah, man? It's awesome. He, he, does that, now does that like blow your mind that, I mean, he's a huge celebrity. He's, he's yeah, he's a big deal. <laughs> right. So does it, does it kind of like trip you out when you see other celebrities that are like getting into your, to your music? It's incredible. I mean, the fact that music can spread these days through sources like, like YouTube and all that kind of stuff, and he could find out about it. Sure, no, I had no direct contact with him. You know that was pretty amazing. Yeah, and, uh, he actually texted me a couple of days ago because he heard my song on the radio, um, and he texted me. He's like, "Dude, I'm like in the car right now, and I heard your song on the radio." He's like, "That's so cool." It's I mean, like, yeah, you guys yeah. are like texting friends yeah, now. Yeah, How yeah, crazy yeah. is that? <laughs> yeah. So, all right, so you're on Aaron Rodgers' playlist. Who's on your playlist? Oh, that's a great question. We uh. It's a lot of because we're traveling together. We have to make sure we get everyone's taste yeah. together. So we listen to a lot of um, I don't know who who would you say is the main artist that we listen to a lot lately. Uh, There's a, listen to the City and Color. City and Color. City. What's what, now? Who are they? It's uh, more of an indie act. Uh, we listen to Fits in the Tantrums a lot. Yeah. Um, Ed oh, Sheeran. Walk the Moon. Song Walk the Moon. Yeah. Ed Sheeran. Shut up and dance. Not listen to yeah, it. Yeah. yeah. No. <laughs> uh, <laughs> stop with me. Uh, Coldplay, like, uh, and a lot of One Republic. We actually just did a, a shaker 
I don't know if I should say this. No, go ahead, man. <laughs> we, uh, we, we sometimes get really bored in the car, so we will turn random items, like a pretzel bag, into a shaker. Uh-huh. And we all pick up an item, and all four of us will put on the radio, and we'll just start shakering together, four, four of us in a car, to now, one song. So you guys got to put those videos on YouTube. I, did, I, I put one on Instagram. Sweet. And, it, and it's the One Republic song, uh, I'll be your love. And there's four of us in the car right. just, just doing that. <laughs> it's pretty amazing. Okay, yeah. so now you said something about your brother wrote a song for you. Yeah. And well, he I- didn't write it for me. I, I was basically, I had this riff. Sometimes we were living together at the time. Okay. And um, I was, uh, I was I, sometimes I'll write like a lot of music and I'll just let it go. I won't even realize it's something that has potential. Yeah. And so I start playing this riff like... And he runs out of his room. He's like, record that right now or otherwise you're going to forget it. Right. And from there, we kind of co-wrote the song together. And uh, it turned into a song called You Lift Me Up that um, that eventually got picked up by the Kardashians and a bunch of other things. So, right. Yeah. So now, do you watch the Kardashians at all? I did for the uh, first couple of days. And <laughs> seriously, the, the, the thing has been airing like five times a day. So it's at the point now I'm like, I don't know if I'm sick of it, but I don't know if I need to watch it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I mean, I'm honored and thrilled that they're even supporting it and airing it so much. So that's that's really cool. Right. Yeah. Um, Kind of walk me through a little bit. So your album, Self-Titled. Yeah. Describe the whole album to me. Okay. Uh, so I recorded it. Um, it was released last summer. It's kind of had like a slow build. Um, and I recorded it in Nashville. And um, I guess the story behind it was I, I've always been like a songwriter first kind of person, you know, singer, songwriter. So I'd say it's kind of a pretty eclectic mix. As you can tell, like Ball of Jack is a little more like R&B-ish. Yeah. And then only one is, you know, like your like pop song. Right. And You Lift Me Up, there's been a remix to You Lift Me Up, the one I'm going to play that like just passed like six million hits on Spotify, which is crazy. Insane. So uh, I think I think the uh, I think the main common theme behind the song, behind the album is like just my songwriting. I Hopefully is like, you know, uniquely me. But uh, I think it's got a, a lot of different styles in there, which hopefully keeps it from not being boring or anything like yeah, that. So, right, yeah, right. Totally. Yeah. Um, OK, so let's do another song. Yeah. So we'll do uh, the we'll do the Kardashians one. Perfect. Like a picture on the wall And now I know how to steer I'm not afraid if I should fall It took some tears oh, But together we were strong And now I feel a burning beat Inside my heart And I feel alive For the first time in my life Oh baby, I feel alive Tonight You lift me up Before I fall too far You lift me up You help me see the stars You pick me
<laughs> Sweet. Awesome. So before I let you guys go, what what are you looking forward to most the rest of the year? Ooh. Touring more. Touring more? <laughs> where are you off? Well, where are you off to next? Uh, tomorrow we're going to be in Portland. Portland. Yeah, we're playing in Portland and then Seattle, Seattle, then Boise and yeah. Kansas City all the way back Making east. the loop. And it's funny. It's like you get you get in a, a point on tour where you're like, uh, I just want my own bed. But then you're home and you're like, I want to be on the road. And, <laughs> Absolutely. You know, when there's nothing better than connecting with people and meeting people on the road and, and coming to like a station like this and playing for you guys. This right. is like, this is what we live for. Yeah. So this is awesome. Yeah. Absolutely. So, Thank you so much for having us. Yeah. Thanks for coming in. Now, <laughs> yeah. where can people find you like online? And Yeah. Uh, everything is pretty much uh, just Mikey Wax. If you type in... Uh, by the way, you have like the per. That's your real name. That's right? my real name. I yeah. mean, that's like I you were show you born my to do this, yeah. man. With that <laughs> yeah. name. Well, the funny thing is, I used to hate the name like Wax growing up. You know, because people would be like Wax on, <laughs> <Wax> on. <laughs> which yeah. which I still don't right. mind. Now it's like now actually I use it to my advantage. Like when I'm on tour, I'm like Wax on tour. You know, right. perfect. <laughs> but uh, and then when I'm off tour, it's Wax off tour. <laughs> but uh, yeah, uh, you know that that is my name. That is my real name. I, you know, I didn't have to be Mikey, I guess. But yeah. I think my parents started calling me Mikey when they realized I was. A little troublemaker as a sure. kid and then you know yeah it kind of stayed right yeah cool yeah thanks for coming in guys yeah, thanks i really appreciate it you guys were great us. man thank you so much yeah appreciate it.